at the museum we always say it takes about six years to become a good glassmaker, and I, I find that that is true. So it doesn't matter where you learn or how intensely you learn or how sort of naturally talented you are to begin with. It always takes six years. It takes a long time to develop an understanding of the material because it is very dynamic, because it's always changing. So it just takes a long time to get to know it. And so there's a period of time after about six years until you've blown glass for about 10 years, and this is my own theory, where you think you really got it down. You think you know everything. And then about 10 years, you realize that you don't even know the basics, that you, you know, you're just starting to get a, a toehold in the understanding of the material. So there's a period when you think you know it all, and then after a while, uh, you learn that you still have a, a lot to learn. There are actually thousands of different types of glass, and uh, you know I've been fortunate enough to work with Pyrex and work with soda lime glass and work with lead glass, and they all have a little bit of a different characteristic. Even within soda lime glass, which is the basic formula, there are thousands of different compositions that give it many, many different working characteristics. And even within the range of colors that we use, the different colors of glass have different textures when you work with it. And so not only do you deal with the material itself being dynamic, but also the colors and the composition changing from one shop to the next, or one piece to the next even.